Bet you guys didn't think you'd see this on the channel ever. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's taking a nap. Popeye is hanging out, playing with his toys back at the house. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today we're here at the airfield with this awesome Great Plains Escapade 40 size. This is a balsa plane, no bells and whistles, just an amazing electric conversion uh, by a buddy of mine, Tom, at the airfield. Do you remember we had that crop duster plane on the channel? I know you guys loved this plane. Look at, look at that. I mean, that is with my flaps up, and I'm uh, maybe about 30 to 40% throttle. We flew it twice, and I wanted to get that second beautiful, perfect flight in for you guys because I had plans to trade it with Tom for this. This is a very different style of plane than that crop duster. This should be able to handle some wind and is a much more sporty flyer in comparison. I'm very excited because I love sporty planes. Not a 3D plane, but a sporty plane. So. This is a four channel, uh, basic as I said, but powerful electric plane. We've, channel one is throttle, channel two is our aileron control, three and four is our rudder and elevator. This is just a really sweet setup with amazing electronics inside. Even our receivers, or even our servos are nice expensive servos. They are Futaba and check out the inside there. That's with my battery. We'll be flying on a 4S pack I think this is a 3800 if I'm remembering right, and then I've also got a 4600 that we're gonna fly on. Of course I have my LiPo alarm in here because this will be one of my first flights with this. Actually, I have to tell you guys the truth. We came out here yesterday and flew this. I flew it twice, which was my maiden. I wanted you guys to experience the maiden flight with me because uh, that's always fun and it was a great time. We had It was just perfect and successful and I got everything balanced out, so much fun. And for the first time ever in almost seven years on YouTube, our DSLR camera, uh, at least the card, got corrupted. We lost all those files. We actually had a second plane we recorded too. We tried a card recovery software too, and it yeah. still just did not work. No, We no recovered work. our thumbnails. Yeah, <laughs> I that, don't that's know. it. <laughs> uh, so that was really disappointing for us. I think I did sustain on one of those flights, or probably landings rather, a little damage to my tail wheel. I, I don't know what happened, but I think the push rod snapped. Although my landings were great, I don't know how that happened, so I'll need to talk to Tom and see if that was something that he had to fix or whatever. So we'll see about takeoffs and landings now with this. I'm not sure if I'll be able to taxi, and it'll probably be a struggle to take off because now I don't have steering with my wheel. Well, anyway, enough talking. Let's get some flying done, and uh, I'm just, I'm excited to fly this again. This should be an interesting takeoff without having a wheel that I can steer, but should be fun. So let's do this. You still have a lot of control with the rudder, so hey, we're in the air. All right, okay, let's roll it. Yeah, let's have some fun now that we are up. I really wish this was my maiden flight because maidens are more exciting, they're fun. There's a lot more like, oh, he might wreck because he's never flown this before. That's hey, you stole my wreck. And there's my lipo alarm. That is because, yeah, I, Definitely. Sorry, don't want to jinx you. I didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, okay. Just a dragonfly. <laughs> it looked like a, a real huge... dragon was attacking us. <laughs> like a... Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it looked like a huge bird came so, down. So, <laughs> with this sporty flyer, I can pull my U maneuvers that I like to do, where I fly across the field, and then this plane will climb better than any plane I've ever had. Watch, it can just, that's about 80% throttle, and then I, I just bringing it down just because that was pretty high up. I don't need to go any higher. So uh, let's throw. I did notice that while flying the other day, I lose some altitude on loops, even with full elevator, but that one was pretty smooth. I think I'm just getting better at flying it. And that's to be expected after you've got some flight time on the sticks of your new plane. So this will be the third flight now. And it's gonna be a short one because my LiPo alarm is going off. Now the reason for that is because my batteries, although they're 4S, and a good size, that doesn't mean everything. We have a, a pretty low C rating on this battery, and for a bigger, heavier, more powerful plane like this, we need a higher C rating. So everything is um, kind of sagging in voltage every time I climb. See, no alarm. Now when I climb, we'll probably hear the alarm. That was fun. Let's see if we can kind of snap it in the air here. Yeah, not really snapping too much, but that's okay. I'll get a little closer here for you, Abby. Those wheel pants look really good on this plane, don't they? Yeah, they do. 
Yeah, I need to. I like that the bottom has the stripes on it. Still need to trim it up a tiny bit. Yeah, for orientation, mm -hmm. this is just awesome. I'm sorry that I don't fly more balsa on the channel, you guys. It's not that I don't like it. Uh, it's just that sometimes it doesn't take you know, rough landings as well as foam. We believe his last balsa plane was the SIG we did last yeah. winter? I guess it was over the winter. Uh, and that was your first glow plane Ed that helped was. you with? Uh huh. Ed found it for you and then he bought it back, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think before that, I think maybe we had a, I had a Hobby King plane. Do you remember okay, that? Getting lower with every pass. I had a Hobby King plane that was balsa. It was my own. If you all remember me flying a Balsa Hobby King plane, it was a rubber band plane, then you've been around for a while. By rubber band, do you mean how the wing was held on? The prop. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the right. The prop was held right. on by a rubber band. Let's see if we can do a couple loops back here over Death Valley. Let's see if maybe two in a row. We haven't done that yet, so. Again, I lose altitude even with, yeah, see, I don't like that. So I'm not gonna do two there. Such a good looking plane. I think we need to do a knife edge and then we'll pop in the fresh battery. Tom did such a good job putting this thing together. We'll bring it around here, just a nice wide turn. So this is a Great Plains? Great Plains, yeah. They they have just real, they are probably one of the most well-known brands, at least here in America. Definitely want to land after this. Okay, I'll do my best at a knife edge. Oh yeah, not great at it, not great. I need some practice. That's what the flight simulator is gonna be for this winter. And uh, hmm, yeah, okay, let's do a landing. I have to step out here for the landing because we're standing behind the flight line right now. That's all right. Yesterday, his first landing with us, he came in like super fast, but it was a good landing. And I don't think that's when he broke the rudder wheel. I think it was the second landing he did. Not too shabby, Nathan. Good job. I can't steer it. So I got <laughs> yeah, you can't steer because you're... <laughs> Something about flying a new plane, it's always, or at least new to you, uh, I'm always nervous no matter what. No matter how big, small, expensive, cheap, unless it's like $100 or less. Especially knowing that my tail wheel doesn't work. It's always nerve-wracking. Look at that though. I can, I can just climb all day and do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Beautiful plane, isn't it? Yes. And I'm probably not even doing it Oops. much justice. Oh, jeez. I'm not doing it much justice with Let's my filming. I can do a little inverted flight. I'm, you know, I feel like I need to give myself a lot of practice this, this winter on the flight sim so I can really up my skills for next year. Inverted, it does it, but I need a lot of up with it and I feel like I shouldn't need as much as I was giving it. So I'll do that one more pass coming back this way and we'll see. Maybe I can make some adjustments in the transmitter, you know, throw a switch when I'm upside down and that could assist me a little bit or something. Maybe my CG's off, maybe I didn't have enough juice. So you were we kind of hoping this was going to be like your Zazzy, right? A little bit. Let's try to do, okay, that wasn't very, very pretty. I wanna fly a little lower, a little faster, a little closer. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. But I'm guessing that's not exactly like your precious no, Zazzy. definitely not, but that's okay because an amazing person hooked me up with a new Zazzy and I need to put that together and fly that. Maybe that will make plane week. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we're making every effort possible to have an actual plane week here on the RC we, Sailors. Uh, we didn't really <laughs> announce it. It's, this is unofficial plane week because we don't have them all filmed, whereas, whoop, there goes my coffee. That's okay. <laughs> when we did boat week, we had everything filmed, pre-filmed, so we knew it was gonna be you boat week. You hate to make an announcement early on in the week and then let everybody down, but we are making every effort to have seven planes in a row, which I think would be a first for us. I'm this is number sure. four? Uh, this is fourth, yeah, fourth video. <laughs> And you guys are gonna love tomorrow's. Absolutely. Yeah, plane love number it. five. It's a uh, guaranteed must have. As, how am I looking on the camera? I feel like I'm flying a little high and a little far, and that's probably because I'm flying balsa. I'm out of my You're comfort good. zone. Let's get in a little bit faster and lower here. CG feels really good on this. I mean, it's nice and smooth. 
That was maybe 60% throttle or so. I just like to juice it and climb with this puppy. It's awesome, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. It looks really good. It's a great size. It's a, it's a really good size for this airfield. I mean, I can just take over the whole sky when I'm flying this thing. I love that airplane sound when it's like shh right, coming in. Too. <laughs> there we go. That's fun. I need, to, I need to just push the sticks in different directions than I normally would, especially when I'm flying that high, and just try to get good at doing different things. Just doing some weird stuff here. There we go. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I could do this all day, you guys. I mean, this, I don't know. I'm not, I don't sound like super, super pumped probably, but this is me and my element. I mean, this is just me having a good time, just relaxed while I'm flying, but also a little bit of adrenaline. You know, if I could live with a plane in the air, I would. Absolutely would. So now we get out of the U pattern, right? And we just start having some. There we go. That's rudder with aileron, and that was nice. I like that. <laughs> Gotta have a good battery strap when you pull that stuff off. <laughs> Try that again. Nope. Okay. <laughs> You're making place. me nervous. Yeah. I don't think I've ever filmed way. you doing that. This ought to be fun. Don't want to get too much closer to us when you do that. Yeah, this plane is going to be able to do some stuff that I'm not used to being able to do. Look at that. That's fast. I do wish I had more elevator authority. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, it would be nice. Yeah, that is fun. This is a fun plane. Oh my gosh, fun. And we, we think the value of this plane was relatively close to the value of the crop duster. I mean, we both, both parties felt like we were getting a pretty good trade on that. I think that maybe this probably had a little higher financial value than the crop duster, but Tom was really happy to have that plane and have it built. So, you know, we're, we're both both very happy with our trade that we did. And, and that's what it's all about. Um, I know we do a lot of new things on our channel. Look at all the birds. Look I know. These guys. They just came out of nowhere. Let's go say hi. <laughs> They're all up there, holy moly. I mean, they just took over the sky, didn't they? They're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They like your plane. Look at them. Oh my yeah. gosh. Tons. You're going to get knocked out of the sky, I, I think. I might. I think I'll stay lower. Respect <laughs> their airspace. Keep it under 200 feet today, which <laughs> 400 feet for an airplane is crazy. <laughs> Unless you're a glider. Yeah, true. A big, big glider. That's right. Climb, 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 climb. I know I've got my LiPo alarm in there, but I haven't heard it go off yet. That's probably because it's just a really good quality of battery. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll link this brand of battery that we're using in the description box below. I'll do my best to link as much of the stuff that I'm using to fly with today in the box, like we always do. So you guys, if you want to pick up the transmitter that I'm flying on, LiPo alarms, the charger, the batteries that I fly on, I'll even link the plane. I'm sure I can find it. Great planes. This is just really fun. I'm, I'm more in my element now than I was yesterday on the Maidens. This being the fourth pack that I've put through this plane, I'm just having a good time. Look at that. Yeah. My transmitter's beeping a little bit because I think I'm getting close to, yeah, I'm down to 24 seconds. I do have a timer set on here by default. There's your battery. You just heard it? Like, yeah, I just heard yep, it. Yep, you're right. Uh, by default, this transmitter puts a five minute timer on anytime you pair up a new plane, and I just haven't taken that off yet. I really don't like flying with timers, but I suppose with a new plane, a big plane, an expensive plane, it's not a bad idea to put a timer on. Okay, well, I want to go step out to the flight line and land this puppy. Very nice. Very, very nice. 
And look, you landed so you could taxi it to yourself. <laughs> Well, I'm a little bummed out by the tail wheel, but the performance of this plane is absolutely amazing. Tom did such an awesome job converting it from, I do believe he started off as glow and converted it to electric and just two huge thumbs up. I really, Tom, don't know why he wanted to get rid of this thing. It's a blast to fly. I think that because I wanted this for me uh, and I just decided after the trade to share this with the channel, you guys, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna fly this until it doesn't fly anymore, until something snaps or uh, you know, something something gives out. I, I believe this is just going to be one of my go-to fun planes now, kind of like the Zazzy used to be in my Tower Hobbies P-51 is. It's so awesome when you start building your RC collection, and you start having some display favorites that you're proud to put on display, and then you have some, not that this isn't worthy of display, but more kind of your fun basher plane. And I think that those of you that are in the airplane part of the hobby know what I'm talking about. I see it all the time up here at the airfield. I'm one of the only guys that comes up with a different plane or drone or whatever pretty regularly. Most of the guys will buy and trade and sell all the time. And you see that type of swapping going on every, every time you're at the field, but they've always brought the same plane that you always see with that person. And I'm picturing a few of the guys in my head right now, you know, and they, always have the same ones. WJ is about the only guy that doesn't do that. And this is probably one of those planes for me. Now I've got a couple batteries for it. I won't be completely heartbroken if after, you know, 30 or 40 flights it does die. I hope to get at least that many flights out of it. Now with four flights under my belt, the nerves are gone, the confidence is building, and it just makes me want to continue to push my skills and learn more on this plane. So I hope that's what I'm going to do with this kind of a heavy plane. I'm very used to foam and this just feels much sturdier than foam. There's no give to it. Although when it hits the ground hard, it will shatter into splinters. Amelia would slap at it and say, she, sturdy, yeah. sturdy, She's sturdy. doing this thing now where she hits the stairs or, or the couch or, or anything, anything like this. And we go sturdy, it's sturdy. <laughs> sturdy build right there, Amelia, that's sturdy. And so yeah, she would do that with this. That'd be so cute. Uh, <laughs> I am very, very happy with this, and I hope that you guys also have something in the hobby that you are just in love with. Uh, if you don't, tune in to our channel tomorrow. I think that about 99% of you will fall in love with what we have planned for you. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!